Yeah, all right, buddies. It's the next day here. It's the afternoon. And we got her back. We'll take a good look at her in the daylight here. Don't worry about this rust you see here. He can fix it. We can fix this. So here it is in the daylight. We got to get this off right here. Snow plow. Uh, 307. 81,000 miles are on it. Got yeah, two barrel. Two barrel carburetor. Still an original paint on it. It still has all its original uh, hose clamps on it. Supposedly 80,000 miles. Yeah. Which is very possible because it, it doesn't look molested. It's got, like it says, it's still got these original clamps everywhere where nobody's even touched the heater hoses yet. Yep. Generally, by you know, anything that's got a shit ton of miles on it, that would have already been swapped up. Oh, yeah. Would have wore out a long it's, time it's ago. It's here. It's old and rusty. I mean, 44 years old. I'm, I'm right there myself, and I ain't looking too good myself. So. <laughs> yeah, we're in the 45-year-old uh, range here. Yeah, so. But, uh. Not bad. The firewheel still got the original uh, markings on it from when it was assembled. A couple little rust spots, but it's about not the bad. only thing, honestly, that's still somewhat good on the whole truck. Oh no, I take that back. There's rust here too. I was yeah. gonna say the hood. It's a farm truck at best, but I mean, it's my farm truck. And got it for almost nothing. Almost nothing. And some might even say, looking at the rust, yeah, that's what it's worth, but not really. Go buy one. Yeah, I mean go this. Buy one that needs nothing for 35, 40 grand. Exactly. You wanna go walk in one of them uh, robber barons. Yep. You know, somebody that they, they buy these things from restorers. Or yeah, whatever. we were look exactly. We were looking at what patch panels for this thing. Dirt cheap. I mean, part of the fun is doing it yourself. Exactly. And then you know what you got. You learn the vehicle. You know every nut and bolt on it. It's yours. You own it. You you built you it. You built it. That's exactly. What this is right here. I basically. I bought a VIN number is what I did. Yeah, well, solid frame on here. It's not bad. <laughs> solid. Hey, you She's got some little rust got on some it. Flakes. But All this could be fixed. Yeah, I weld for a living. So this is nothing. I'm a steam fitter, union steam fitter. I could do that, that ain't nothing. We could fix I could it. literally do it with somebody blindfolding me. That's how good I go weld. Yeah. And it's all dirt cheap stuff they got at LMC we were looking at. It's probably made in China or some some place like that. But whatever. This is never going to be a show truck. This is a mud truck. No, no. This thing here, I have a 454 big block Chevy that's almost brand new, a 2000 motor. Yeah. And it's got no, it, it's got a few run hours. It's got, I don't even bet you it got 20 hours on it. Exactly. And that's going to go in there. Yep. And... Eventually, she's getting a one-ton frame, a K30 frame. We're going to shorten her up. She's going to get one-ton axles, you know, Dana's or whatever I could find. Yeah. It's going to, you know, everything will be one-ton running gear with the big block. That's what it's going to end up being. Yes. I'm going to swap out, start with the worst one first, start swapping quarter panels. The floor, they put rockers on it a while back. They did some stuff here and there the floor is not really hideous there's little rust spots silver dollar size here yes. and there but nothing too too serious i mean what it, it's a a northern truck it's got rust yes it ran when it was parked yeah and like yeah, you said know. this is never going to be a show trailer clean show truck no nah, it's going to go through the woods like right now my i would put a quarter on it but i wouldn't mind a dent in the door or the dent in the fender because you know what tree look out yeah no, when we're in the woods with this thing what's gonna happen yeah. even all that rust right now i'm more concerned with getting it running and moving it running and moving get the whole brake system straightened out on it and one step at a time you know i'm gonna get to it next pop, week you know, wire brush the frame up and paint it yep stuff like that we'll see where it goes from there you know we need a back window for this anyone has one yeah, the frame. We'll leave a message. The, <laughs> the comments, I mean. The frame around here that goes around it with all the, with the, the brace and supports that go underneath that. Uh, everything's missing. It's just a sheet of plexiglass right now. So, it needs yeah. a tailgate. It needs everything. It needs bumpers. 
Yep. You know, I, know, I guess I'm, from the looks of these holes, it had trim around here. It's missing. Got a fine trim. Uh, who the hell knows? This one had trim, but that one didn't figure that out. No, it's got holes too. Yeah. I don't know. Here goes the other side. This one has a little bit. I'm on a hill here. Exhaust is actually the only thing not rotted. Yeah, the exhaust is good. Full master duels on here. Full master. This is the bad side. Yeah. This, like, uh, for this for this year to get it registered, we're just he's gonna just patch it up, jury rig it. It's in there, pushed in. Okay. Yeah. See somebody put cheater rockers on it years ago. They're welded in. Okay. I mean, I'll just. The pillar is saveable. I think I could save the pillar, which is what really counts. Here's your VIN plate yep. and all that. So I'll just, I'll have to cut this quarter off. You know the deal, anybody that knows cars. Yeah. Top's gonna have to come off, I'll have to cut the quarter. I gotta get whatever this thing is here, this bottom thing here. We have to make something. If they don't sell it, I'll, I'm gonna I'll dig in my pocketbooks. See what <laughs> I can find on the internet. See what we can get. Anyone got parts for this? Just leave a comment. It's a gas tank, even. It's, yes. You're probably all yucking it up at home. Oh, that thing's a piece of shit. <laughs> Send it to the crusher. But there nah, we we'll get it going. It's gonna be an awesome with the top Would off you of the do summer. That to your mother? Would you send your mother to the crusher too? No. Come on. We'll got, fix it. There's some love still to be had here. <laughs> Let's check out the interior now. Four speed. He has the door panels for this. Yeah, I got everything is here. It's the only thing I didn't find so far was the pad for here. That probably mice ate it or something. Yeah, we need a dashboard mm -hmm. pad. But you can see there's a little rust here, but not bad. It's not, it's it's spongy, but. Needs a little work. Again, they sell the whole floor pan for this thing. Yeah, not a problem. I'll cut it out. This I'll is the reason pad. why four speed right there. And that clutch paddle. I mean, I'm not made out of money. I could go buy one if I wanted to on time and it'd be all done. And what's the fun in it? You don't get to build it. Yeah. It's still got the original seats. They need covers. Look, here, duct tape seat cover. <laughs> there you go. The back seat's all there. The back seat you could almost live with for a while. It ain't it ain't perfect, but who's gonna sit back there? I uh, well, we'll got always load up a heads in the car, so yeah. Can we go to tracks or something. Nice. I, Anybody in their mid 40s or, or 50s or whatever, I remember you remember these. You grew up in these. You know who went for a ride in a blazer? They're, they're fun. Even just to sit in here right now, all the memories coming back. Yeah. They're, they're just they're a fun vehicle. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's when yeah. we were in high school, Low man. back buckets or mid back, whatever you want to call these things. Yeah. They're just fun. You sit and look at all the room and there's. There's not a bunch of plastics. There's not a, not a bunch of I don't of think towels. there's any plastic in this there's thing. There's not a bunch of whistles. There's not a Wi-Fi connection. It don't even have AC. Roof comes off. That's how you know it's a northern truck with no AC. That and you know that the, anyone that doesn't know, this whole roof comes right off. Yeah, it's got the old wing windows that they stopped putting in. Yeah. If anybody remembers a wing window, you don't need AC with a wing window. Yeah. You just crack it right open and the wind is blowing on you hard. Well, where do you, we got to read off the options this thing got on oh, the, I uh, got nothing. on the panel here. Yeah, it's got, uh, the show the guys. Barely anything. Here, I'll open it and you can read it off. Yeah, she needs a little earl on the door hinge. Everything needs oil. <laughs> <laughs> She here goes our like 10 years somewhere. Yeah, here goes our oil. I mean, our options. He's going to read them out here, for let us. Let me sit up in here. Who remembers going to the drive in hot dog stand with their pop in one of these? And you put your soda right fries. here and your fries and your hot dog and everything. You got a table to eat on. Why don't they do that? Why? It's too simple, isn't it? No one eats in their car. Nobody, oh yeah, you got drink holders everywhere. Here's my cup holders, just this little depression. <laughs> It'll spill. All right, what do we got here? We got a 104 inch wheelbase. Uh, it's a model KE10514. If that means anything to anybody. Uh, it's got Rear seat option, 1AS310. Front wheel locks on the hubs. 
You don't gotta read the number. I ain't gonna read the numbers. It's got power steering, cigarette lighter, front tow hook, removable top in white, blue vinyl trim, heavy duty auxiliary. It doesn't say it's cut off. You know that means the battery more than likely. Body or side. Alternator, yeah. Oh, maybe, possibly. Body side molding. Four speed transmission. It's got 7.0 by 15.0 by 6 PRON slash O. I, I don't know. Puerto Rican onion tires. <laughs> AM push button radio. Gauges. Ammeter oil. And uh, they didn't have room, they ran out, and then medium blue. She's even got the owner's manual sans cover. And it looks like somebody took a chew out of it. But, yeah. You know, Writing down phone numbers that rip pages yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah, well, the mice got it. That's a, something. Who knows? But there's a. it's even got the original owner's manual. Come on. Ooh, please. Here's one of the... Oh, I don't know why the defroster ain't working. Yeah, look how they got in there too to do the radio. Yeah. They just ripped the glove compartment box. Can anyone see this? Hack. Butcher. Hack. So we got to fix that. That's what happens when you go to Best Buy and get your radio put in. <laughs> uh, look. Two wheel cylinders. Brand new. You know she needs them from Napa. Sitting yeah. in the boxes down here getting wet because it rained last night and me weather stripping ain't doing too well. Yeah, you're really close up. So I got two brand new wheel cylinders. We know we need them. Anything four good in the back? High. Oh, yes. Speaker sir. box is back wanna, there. I don't want to open it up back there because I got it all bungeed. Yeah. But there was a body lift kit that's in the box back there. Oh, really? Yeah, it's. it's Let me see if I can see through the window. You pull it open. Who cares? Fuck it. All right, we're opening it. We had a hard time shutting this last a night. Broken hand, I crashed on my bike. Look out. Door panel. Yeah. This don't lift, it's screwed down. That's all right. There's the spare tire holder right there. Yeah, it even has that in there. Yeah. That's good. Who likes spare tire holders? I do. Okay. Cardboard. What do we got here? Well, performance accessories. I don't even want to move it. There's what your body it? lift right here. For all you rednecks out there that ain't got the the, funds. the wherewithal to go swapping out for some rough country springs. <laughs> 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 or some sky Oh, that's jacket. a body. List the body it, off the frame. It's a body lift. Throw it in the garbage. It, yeah, who uses these? We'll put it on Craigslist. And they're hard and they're, they're made out of, I don't know, plastic or something. So the thing's going to ride like a rock. Fuck yep. you, I'm putting rubber back in. It even got the seat belts too. There you go. Yeah, this thing gets lifted. It's gonna be lifted properly with springs, not with fucking. Blocks. Yeah. New leaf springs on there. We're already looking at skyjackers. It all depends it's what he goes with. Row. We're straightening all this rust out first. Yes. She's getting running. She's getting rusted. All even back here. Whatever I gotta do. If I gotta get a panel for this whole back and cut it out. Like It'll I be says, done. I bought a VIN number. I know what I was buying. You know? What are you going to do? Yeah, it's a nice project. You got to have something to work on, right? You got to have a toy. Yeah, and, uh, I got shown the Silverado over there that doesn't need anything current key. Uh, want this? I'd rather have this. Yeah, we're looking at where we noticed this last night. I mean, we're not trying to beat up on this on this truck. We like it, so don't get us wrong when we're sitting here saying this and that. We like the truck. It wouldn't be here. It's my dream truck. Someone definitely. Seventy-two K five. You can't go no better. Yeah, but somebody mounted the mirrors way yeah. up over here when they should be back here. Uh, the factory mirror was right here. If you look at the holes, see yeah. the holes they bondled them in. Then after that, took a shit. Or here's another mirror here. Yo, know, come on, you're going through the woods, what happens? Mirrors go bye-bye. Yeah, but they're gonna get you through registration eventually one day here. Well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's not bad. We gotta move it up. Next week, you're too busy this week to do anything to it. But listen But, but next this. week we'll start. All you ricers, all you Japanese fans out there, 
Listen to this. Come here, bring the camera in nice and close. Listen to this. Even with the rust, it's like banging on a vault door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they use thicker steel back then, that's Fuck for you, sure. Fuck you, Toyota. <laughs> there you go, man. All right, so yeah, no Hondas, no Toyotas will ever be here. So this is it. Not too bad. Let me get up here. It's my fucking Trump wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Are oh, you gonna put a Trump plate on the front of it? Ah, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All the persuasions will break your windows out. Yeah. Anyway, so that's it. That's our review of this for today. You're not gonna see any updates on this for another week or two. Like I said, we're both busy this week. Uh, next week, most likely midweek or something. So we'll go from there. Today's what, September 27th? It's a Tuesday. 2016. Dirty Ditch, Mud Bog, Portland, 2017. Here I come. It'll be there. Look out. This <laughs> will be in that pit. You mark my words. Yep. Remind us. All right, guys. See you later.